What is up, guys? Zach Doherty here, back with another episode, number 12 of the quest to complete the entire Xbox 360 collection. So, as you guys can see, the stats are up there. We've got 10 more games coming your way. We are up to 133 now in the collection, which is awesome. Thank you so much for the support lately. Please do hit that like button if you do enjoy this series. Hit that subscribe button if you are brand new. Let's dive right on in. All right, guys, like I said here, here are the 10 games we have. The first one on top, absolutely one of the epic category games. Uh, Halo Combat of all. This is the anniversary edition uh, that they remade to bring this out on the 360. has a really neat little slip cover and a lot of uh, DLC manuals. Um, the, the you know typical art and stuff you see from the Halo games, which is really cool. This was great. Uh, obviously loved this game. Played it a ton on the original Xbox and ended up replaying it too on the 360. Uh, the next one here is Tom Clancy's End of War. So you guess there's the back. I played a little bit of the Tom Clancy's games. I've only played a little of this one. This one also comes with uh, a little bit of get guide as well and has some uh, nice manual too. I've played only a little bit of this Tom Clancy End of War. I believe it was a uh, either a beta that I played before this game came out, but I actually have not played the complete. So let me know if you played that one. Uh, next one is a Cabela's game. I'm a huge fan of Cabela's games. Uh, these are really hard to find on the 360 on this gen. As you can see, it comes with a massive manual. Um, obviously, this is a game that doesn't sell like your... Uh, your Call of Duties or your Maddens or any kind of sports games like this. They just don't make as many copies. So trying to find these now complete are very difficult. I enjoy the Cabela games, like all of them. I think these are so fun. Love the arcade style ones too. Uh, next one here is Darksiders 2 Limited Edition. I have not played this one. This is one I have not gotten into, so you guys have to let me know. This one is complete as well. Has some DLC. I'm sure it's used, but it's just cool that all that is there. Um, here is Your Shape Fitness Evolved on the Connect. I tried quite a bit of these out. I tried this one out. I tried the Nike one out. Like I said, I did play extensively with the Connect quite a bit when it was out. Um, they did a really nice job. I think this is a really cool thing. Like I said, the first 360 Connect, I can't tell you enough how really good it was. I really did enjoy it. Um, Xbox really supported it, and there was a very good library out for it, but this was solid. This was very solid. Uh, next one, Rapala Fishing Frenzy. I grew up playing a ton of fishing games on like the PS1, very older systems, and there hasn't been as many fishing games out as now, but I did enjoy playing this one, the Fishing Frenzy 09. This was fantastic. You had all, this bass fishing wise was really good, and I think this one brought out the Tournament Edition one as well, um, which I liked a lot too, but I haven't played this one so long. But like you, like you guys can see here, Fully complete manual and everything. Very nice condition. And again, these Rapala games, I put these in the exact same category as Cabela's. They're hard to find. Not as many of these were sold. Uh, here's one much easier to find, NCAA Football uh, 2008. Much older one. I think this was the second one on the 360 Gen. I think 07 it might have started. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. But here's NCAA 08. I love college football games. Again, we've talked about it. So... Sad that they don't make them anymore. Crazy. Uh, next one is Splinter Cell, Tom Clancy's. I have not gotten in or ever played this one, so you guys will have to let me know if you've ever played this one. Um, complete as well. Really nice find there. Gears of War 3, anyone who's played the 360, I'm sure you have played a Gears of War. Very solid game. I put some solid hours into the Gears uh, franchise. There's a little bit of the back, too. Fully complete. Uh, creator of Epic Games, who created Fortnite. They're just, they're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then our last one, guys, is MLB 2K13. This was the last MLB game made on the Xbox. It's crazy. I think in 2012, that has been six years since there has been a legit MLB baseball game on the Xbox. I know they make RBA baseball, but I, I consider that more of an arcade style game. But it's been a long time. Um, these games are not as good as the show, but I still like them. I still played them a lot because during baseball season, I do enjoy playing a baseball game. Um, Xbox users, what are you guys doing for baseball games? I tried RBA baseball. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's kind of in the mix of like sort of arcade, sort of regular style, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, but uh, this I did put a lot of hours in, so I enjoyed this game. It was a little bit glitchy at first, but I think that it overall is a very nice job. I got my money's worth. 
Well, guys, there you go. There is 10 more games that I found. Again, I have been really enjoying this collection. Uh, it's not easy to find. It's very good to collect right now. It's cheap to collect for, but it's hard to find these games complete because a lot of people, after they have them, either cases are broke, manuals are gone, discs are gone, whatever it may be, a lot of it's separated. So finding these complete is the most difficult thing, but it's really, really fun. I, I love this system, and uh, I still play a lot my 360 right now. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, there's a few in here I haven't played. Let me know if you've played them or not. Other than that, thank you guys so much for the support lately. I appreciate it. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one.